What is going on guys? This is Snake Sports here and today I'm going to be talking about how the Oklahoma Sooners will beat the Ohio State Buckeyes this year in revenge as we all know that last year the Sooners played a uh, home versus the Buckeyes and lost a pretty close game last year as we all know the score well, I mean it really wasn't close but it was close during the game and then Ohio State uh, came back in the second half and just beat them uh, they won 45 to 24 against the Oklahoma Sooners at the time Ohio State was ranked third in the nation while Oklahoma was 14th in the nation um, uh, last year uh, so as we're gonna go through uh, the stats from last year's game uh, my prediction this year that uh, uh, Oklahoma will beat Ohio State 32 21 that'll be my final prediction for this year uh, as you all know in the offseason uh, Baker Mayfield got arrested for resisting an arrest and from drunk driving uh, it's not as serious as Joe Mixon case but it's still a miss uh, management from team from Bob Stoops uh, so but uh, Baker Mayfield did apologize to uh, the Oklahoma Sooners fan base and to ESPN and any other uh, just a college football in general he apologized he's gonna redeem himself he is going to probably work really hard this year because this I believe this is his senior year this year um, last year against Ohio State he really did not do so well I believe it's probably because of under pressure uh, but I feel like this year that Oklahoma Sooners will come out strong and they will redeem themselves to beat Ohio State like Clemson beat uh, Alabama this year, uh, even though they lost to Alabama in the final uh, championship last year. But that's what I'm talking about. So, as of now, let's go through the stats from last year. Of course, Ohio State won 45 24. Uh, JT Barrett for passing went 14 for 20, 152 yards, uh, 7.6 average per throw, four touchdowns, and zero interceptions. While Baker Mayfield went 17 for 32. 226 yards, 7.1 for average throw, two touchdowns, and two costly interceptions that probably had the game uh, that, that was close, but then uh, Ohio State pulled away. For rushing, we have Mike Weber, had 18 carries, 123 yards, 6.8 average, uh, touchdown, zero touchdowns. Curtis Samuel only had the one rushing touchdown. Uh, Joe Mixon had 78 yards. No one else had a touchdown after that. Um, for receiving, we have Noah Brown. We have five receptions, 70. Two yards and four touchdowns. Good lord. <laughs> That's the only person that had a touchdown on the team. <laughs> um, Oklahoma receiving. We have A.D. Miller. Had three receptions, 72 yards, one touchdown. And we had Mark Adams for four receptions and 57 uh, yards with one touchdown. Uh, fumbles. Of course, J.T. Berry had one fumble. Uh, Oklahoma did not. Uh, defense. Um, that's basically, yeah, it, because we all know that, uh, Baker, May Baker Mayfield had two, uh, costly interceptions that could have been prevented and could have been closer, uh, for, uh, uh, Oklahoma to come back and beat Ohio State. Um, let's look at the, uh, stats also. Um, Baker Mayfield had a better stats than JT Barrett. I feel like JT Barrett really isn't a great quarterback. He just had a good team. And uh, they shouldn't really been, they shouldn't have been in the college football playoffs because they got destroyed by Clemson. Uh, Baker Mayfield went 254 completions to 358 attempts with over 3,965 yards, 71 completions. Wow, that's pretty impressive. 11.08 uh, yards per average, 40 touchdowns, and eight interceptions. That's probably going to be one of the key for Oklahoma because they have a better quarterback than Ohio State. Um, I believe Abdul Adams will be the starting running back for last year, uh, or for this year, my bad, because they don't really have a starting running back. For I'm, I'm guessing Abdul Adams will be the starting running back. He had 53 carries, 283 yards, and zero touchdowns last year. Um, I believe um, Mark Adam, Mark Andrews will be starting receivers also. I'm just going to name one of them. Uh, had 31 receptions, 489 yards, uh, 15.8 uh, yards per average was... Uh, with seven touchdowns. All right, let's go through the Ohio State Buckeyes this year, uh, or last year. JT Barrett went 233 completions with 379 uh, attempts, with 2,555 yards, 
6.5 completion per uh, game, uh, 6.7, 6.74, uh, yeah, yards per average, sorry about that, 24 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, uh, I believe Mike Weber will be returning this year, if not, I'm sorry guys, uh, he had 182 carries, uh, 1,096 yards, and 9 touchdowns, um, I believe uh, no, Brown will be back for uh, this year. Had 32 receptions, 402 yards with seven touchdowns. Why do I think uh, Ohio, Oklahoma will beat? Uh, oh, oh, sorry, my voice cracked there. <laughs> will beat Ohio State is because I believe that uh, Baker Mayfield will redeem himself from the issues he had in the off season, and plus the young guys also who had experience as well will do well. Um, yeah, will do well as well. <laughs> But uh, my final prediction will be Oklahoma 30 and Ohio State 21. I don't really, I don't really like JT Berry that much because he's really, in my opinion, not the great, not the greatest passer. He's more of a runner. Um, that's why I feel like um, in quarterback situations, though he did have four touchdowns last year, I still feel like Baker Mayfield is better than. Um, is better than J.K. Barrett. Plus, uh, Oklahoma has an up-tempo passing type team, while uh, Ohio State has a running type team that they call also throw as well. But my, it's, this is just opinions. It's not even happening right now. This is just a crazy video just to talk about college football because we don't have college football for the next, what, three months. Uh, so it's just something to talk about and then give the fans everything. Uh, so hopefully uh, it'll be a good game. But in my opinion, hopefully, that the uh, Oklahoma Sooners will beat the Ohio State Buckeyes 30-21. to 21. Um, That's all I have for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Guys, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day, and peace.